I just want y'all to know I filmed like part of my intro and didn't have my mic on. Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. It is Sunday, so y'all already know it's mimosas and makeup. I have my usual today. It is my Euphoria Aromatic White Wine made in Washington State. Now this wine is 100% wind power offset, gluten-free and vegan friendly. And one can equals a half bottle or two glasses of wine. So this actually comes in white and rosé and it is very, very tasty. So today is all about the Beauty Bay Wilderness Palette. This is the first time that I am trying Beauty Bay. This palette is so cute. So if you want to see three looks with the palette and the swatches and hear a little bit about the palette and you know, my usual shenanigans, keep watching this video. And if makeup is your therapy, if it's your love, your escape, it makes you happy and you especially love eyeshadow. Definitely consider subscribing and joining the community because I would love to have you back. All right, let's get started. All right, y'all, first of all, $15, hi, and bye. $15, I can't. Yes, actually, I can. So this is the Wilderness Palette by Beauty Bay, and it was $15, I'm gonna say it again. Beautiful palette, 20 shades, we'll get into it in a second. But the back of the palette says wilderness. Reconnect with mother nature with the wilderness palette. Inspired by all the rich earthy tones, leafy greens and molten shades that nature has to offer us. This 20 shade palette features wearable hues. Whilst, or is it whilst, 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 I don't know. Still allowing you to explore your creativity. Featuring the same Beauty Bay formula you know and love, each shade is packed full of pigment, is super blendable, and lasts all day without fading. I mean, that's all we want, right? That's all we want. This palette has a shelf life of 12 months. It is vegan and cruelty free, and it looks like this packaging can be recycled. So I mean, this is just a winner here, okay? So here is this beautiful palette. And as you can see, I mean, there's something for everyone here, you know? Now, y'all know me, this row right here, that's all me right there. But I mean, there are shades in each row that I definitely do like. I love this row here too, especially these two colors here. But yes, gorgeous, gorgeous palette and Definitely was excited. Now this is my first time trying Beauty Bay. So I've heard nothing but good things, great things actually. And I really love the affordable price tag. Now what you wanna do, I think when you order from Beauty Bay is, you know, you definitely wanna make your shipping worth it. So what did I order with this? Some stuff I didn't need, oh yeah. I think I ordered the Norvina 4 palette, didn't need that. And I also ordered the Melt, it's like the Bronze and Contour stack. Yeah, that took me to free shipping, so that's what I did. Let's go ahead and get into these beautiful swatches and then we'll get into three looks with this palette. Mm -hmm. So our first shade is Snow. Next we have Sky, Ray, Twilight, Ocean, Forest, Breeze, Mint, Moss, Ivy, Lime, Leaf, running out of room here, Eucalyptus, Marigold, that's pretty, Fossil, Poppy, Raw, Heat, Earth, and Sunrise. This is the Wilderness Palette, y'all. I can't take it. Oh my God, I can't. Look at this. Look at the range. Look at the variety. Like it is just, I can't. I can't. Y'all, yes. Okay, that's enough. So these swatches are really, really nice. Like this is like a whole rainbow. I can't. I'm loving it. I, well. 
real fast. On my eyes is the Erd palette. Oh, it's this palette. I know, I know, different brand. By Odin's Eye. You know, I had to go ahead and remind myself because that legendary uh, Diversa collection is about to release on the 20th, which will be tomorrow. And I had to really sit here and think about like, first I was like, mm, I'm only getting one palette. Then I was like, mm, one, possibly two. And then it was like two, possibly the whole collection. Because I really, really enjoy Odin's Eyes formula. When I pulled out Ur today, honey, okay, wait, I'm sorry, I know this is totally off topic. Now, I did put this eyeshadow on at like 7, 7 15 a.m. So I don't know exactly how great it looks. I did post this look on Instagram. I know this is not what you're here for, but. I just wanted y'all to know, okay. I just wanted y'all, this is too much today. I don't know what's happening. I just wanted y'all to know um, what that was. This um, palette is currently out of stock. It's very unfortunate, but I am hoping that the palette will be restocked. And you know, even if you can't get your hands on the Wilderness palette, if this formula is a good one, then I think you could be confident purchasing another palette from Beauty Bay if you see a color story that you like. Let's go ahead and do three looks. You're gonna see three looks that I actually wore to work this week. And then I'll be back at the end to wrap up my final thoughts. All right, y'all, here we go. Hey, you guys. Okay, so this is my first time using the Wilderness palette. I am really excited because I've had it now for a few weeks. Oh, it is so beautiful. Um, tonight is back to school night and um, it is, what time is it? It's it's 7.30 a.m. I need to be to work at eight. So, um, y'all know I live really close to my school. So I had time, I had time today. All right, I have my usual Glam Light Icing Primer. I'm wearing Pat McGrath Desert Orchid. I have on Gucci Bronzer in the shade four. I have on one of those ColourPop um, lippies. It's from that um, that collection, the Wild Child, Wild Child collection, yes. And I put a little Pat McGrath Nude Cabaret on top. Fenty Ease Drops, I think that about covers it. Um, Pat McGrath Concealer and Charlotte Tilbury Setting Powder. That's it. Let's get started. I am going with the grunge, this row right here. I just feel like it would look nice with this dress. This is a little too matchy matchy for me today. So we're gonna use leaf and we're gonna use marigold, both in the transition area today. August granddad's about to come pick him up, so he need to go because he's doing too much for me. I'm gonna start with marigold first on a fluffy brush. I'm tapping that in. So excited to try out Beauty Bay for the first time because I've heard some really, really good things. I'm trying to give myself 15 minutes to do this look because then I need to cut up my tomatoes and my cheese because that is my favorite. So like I said, just going in the first half of this transition area today like that. And now I'm going to go into leaf, which was at green. And I'm just gonna put that on the second half. I like it. I don't know why, whatever August is looking at is like, sorry, why is it that loud? Okay, so this is what we have so far. I did go a little bit too much with this, but we'll fix it. Okay, so now that that transition is done, we're gonna go into the shade line as the shimmer. Yes, honey, look at this. I said yes before I even started, but I already knew. Look, oh my gosh, how pretty. This is gorgeous, I love it. Mm. Mm. Okay, so y'all let me know. Are the Beauty Bay palettes consistent? I mean, everything I've seen about the Wilderness palette People really like this, but I haven't really watched any Beauty Bay palette reviews. I don't think ever, except this one. So let me know because I mean, $15, I feel like you cannot beat this for $15. 
I am going to take a crease brush and I'm gonna take the shade Eucalyptus and I'm gonna put that on the outer corner as well as throughout the crease. Yeah, you can't beat this, $15. Even if you don't even use it a lot, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not you know, encouraging being wasteful, but I'm just saying like, if you get it and you're like, mm, I don't use it that much, I won't feel too bad off of $15, if that makes sense. Although I don't wanna waste any makeup. And I will be putting some of this under the lower lash line, but I will grab a different brush for that. Ooh, the shade, you know what other, What else would have worked? The shade Moss would have been pretty too. But we can save that for another look. Yes, I like this a lot. I am going to come back to that shade shortly, but I'm gonna go into the shade Fossil and I'm gonna put Fossil in the inner corner. This is pretty too. Look at that shimmer. Oh yes. I know what I've been wanting to wear. People probably be like, where does she think she's going? <laughs> but I'm like, all you can see is my eyes. I gotta do something. Okay, that was a little sloppy, but it's okay. Just drag it down, you know. Mmm, okay. I think what I'm gonna do is for the lower lash line, let's start with Marigold again. Maybe we'll try to mirror what we did on the top or on the bottom. So I'm just gonna take a little Marigold. Then I'm gonna go back into Leaf. I'll focus that on the middle, blend it in with Marigold. And then I'm gonna go back into Eucalyptus and tie that in with the outer corner. And the last thing that I wanna do, just because I don't know if I like the blend, I'm gonna take this dual fiber brush and go back into Leaf. It's just right in here. I just don't feel like I blended it well. I wanna do a brow bone highlight today. Let's go to a different row. Let's use the shade Ray for the brow bone. We went just a little bit right here. It's not gonna be anything like super spectacular. This shade is really pretty. All right, y'all, we have a look. This blend right here, I don't think I'm gonna have too much time because what time is it? <laughs> it's 7.52. So I am gonna have to put on my mascara and my uh, liner and get out of here. So I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so here's the final look. Did try to fix my eyebrow, but mm, y'all know how that goes. I really love the tones in this look a lot. It's very melt-esque. So yes, I love it. Let me know what y'all think. For my eyeliner, I use the shade Canopy. This is a ColourPop cream gel eyeliner from the Lush Life Collection. And it looks like that. And then I do have on my Essence Volume Stylist Mascara, which I am really enjoying. This was like a $4.99 mascara and you all probably noticed I have stopped doing lashes. You know, sometimes it's just not practical. It's just not. So, you know, um, I just can't. I am gonna do some more of the false scare lashes though. I just haven't had time or patience. Not that it takes a lot, but I've just been chilling. So yes, y'all. All right, this is look number one. I'll be back in a second to do look number two. Hey you guys, I am back for another look with the Wilderness Palette. Um, on my lips today, I have on a ColourPop lippy in the shade OB Hive. And then on top of that, I have the Kaleidos uh, lip clay in the shade Sienna. Mm, I can't wait for my new lip clays. Okay, so today I think what I'm gonna do is I wanna use the shade Forest. I want to use Twilight. I want to use Ocean and I want to use Ivy. That's what I'm thinking right now. We will see how it goes. So using the shade Forest as the transition today, just starting off by tapping this in. Okay. 
gonna take a smaller crease brush and deepen this up with the shade Ivy. I'm just placing this in the crease and just a little bit above, cause you know, the hoods. And so far, I've had no issues with any of the shades I've used in this palette. I really like this uh, shade Ivy. This is a really, I think, unique green. I feel like this one's, well, no, this is Ivy, but it's kind of foresty as well. Just wanna make sure I can see the Ivy shade when I look on straight. Yep, and I feel like I can now see both shades. And that's what we're working with so far. We're gonna go into the shade Ocean. This is beautiful. Look how pretty this is. That is really pretty. Let's see, I'm gonna take the shade Twilight now and that's gonna go on the inner corner, outer corner. I'm gonna start with a fluffy brush and see, mm, I don't think I like that brush. So I'm just getting a more concentrated brush. This is so pretty. Gonna have to kind of clean up right here and that's okay. I just didn't have the right brush. Just make sure you tap off this blue shade, um, depending on the brush that you use. Just putting it in the crease a little bit. I'm gonna take now just the brush I used before and just trying to blend this together just a little bit more, just so there's more of a flow. I don't know if y'all know this, but I'm not a huge fan of blue eyeshadow on me, but I really do like this a lot. I think it's really, really pretty. I really love the shimmer. Look at that. I am gonna go back into the shade Forest. Let's do that. We're gonna put that under the lower lash line. And now for the inner corner highlight, highlight, let's go in with the shade Sky. Sky is not a shade I, I think I would typically use because I was thinking that would be a great transition and it would be, but um, like I said, blues are not my favorites, but I love this for the inner corner. I really, really do. So this was a good choice for me. And I usually bring my inner corner down here just a little bit. I'm actually wanting to bring this up some actually, so it's not really staying in the inner corner today. That looks really good. Mm. So lately I've been like just into more monochromatic, you know, I, I just really tend to love those types of looks. So I don't know, that's just what I'm into right now. So I will be back to finish off this look. All right, you guys, I am back with the final look. So for liner today, I use my Urban Decay Game of Thrones 24 seven eyeliner. I love these. I, you know, the Game of Thrones collection by Urban Decay may have been the best Urban Decay collection ever. And I will say that when I bought that collection or when I bought that palette, I was like, oh my God, $250 for the whole thing. I should have bought it. Game of Thrones is one of my all time favorite shows. Okay, anyway, moving on. This is the shade, The Night King. It's like a blue with a sparkle. Let me see. I don't know why I'm doing all this because it's not like you can buy it, but you know, you can still find this color. I'm sure Urban Decay probably has another one like this, but look how pretty that is. Okay, moving on. Mascara actually did something different for once. On the bottom, I used this Neutrogena Healthy Lengths Mascara, just because I don't need my bottom lashes to be doing all that. But then on the top, I used the, I think this, yeah, Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. So that's what I did. Look how pretty this look is. Could have blended. I don't know what it is about this side not blending out lately, but whatever. So pretty, such a pretty look. Look at the difference in the blues with the green and then this, what kind, of, what kind of blue is this? 
mm, a sky blue yeah it's called sky so yeah and i did the liner on the bottom and the top so i think i have some mascara right there maybe i don't know but this is a really gorgeous look i love it and over my shirt so not that y'all really care but i'm about to go to work so one of my co-workers first of all one of my co-workers gave me a whole wardrobe of clothes i didn't even know what to say so i was like mm, let me see if i can fit um this because she's like you look like you're a size 10 i'm like yeah i wish i was a six eight but you know what i'm saying whatever i'm working on it so anyway i just was like let me just try these pants on today these are like these old navy stretch oh my god hold on i don't know how i can show y'all mm, okay so yes y'all it fits hopefully y'all can hear me anyway over top of that first of all I, and then i have on my converses i wish there was a better way to do this but then i'm gonna wear this um i'm gonna wear this denim little well actually it's a dress that doesn't close what well, closes but you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna put this on top so i hope y'all can hear me so i decided to go blue because I just felt like it really picked up with the denim without being matchy matchy. So yes, I'm so excited to rock this little outfit with my mask, even though nobody cares except me. But that's all that matters, y'all. So have a good day. I'll be back with look number three. All right, you guys, let's get into the third and final look with the Wilderness palette. Now, this look, I want to be muerte inspired so bear with me on this one but that is the plan um a lot of people do say that there are dupes for muerte in here so i think it's a good idea to try to do a look so let's do it oh now i do have on a different primer for my eyes today it is called thank me later and i think the brand is like elizabeth mott or something like that um now that i've been wearing my eyeshadow for a long time. The Glam Light Icing Primer might not be the best. And I was talking to Dr. Ash about that and she was saying it just might be too emollient. Like it works well for most of my looks, but I usually don't wear my looks for a long time. And now that I'm taking my kids out to recess and it's so hot, like it's been really hot this week, by the end of the day, like the blue look that I had on, it definitely started to, it didn't fade, but it, it almost was like, it looked like it was starting to melt. And then where my eyes are hooded, you could definitely start to see some creasing. And I do think it might be the primer because it's been happening with different brands. So I definitely don't think it's this palette. Anyway, let's get started with the look. So I'm going to start with the shade Poppy in the transition area. I do think my brush was, is this not a clean brush? Maybe this brush was a little dirty. There we go, that's better, okay. Okay, y'all bear with me with this look. Now I'm going to take the shade Raw, which is the deeper red, and bring this out a little bit. I don't know if I'm seeing much of a difference. All right, I'm gonna leave it like that for now. So the next thing I wanna do is I am gonna take this shade Twilight right here. And let me see what kind of brush I wanna use. I think I'm gonna start with this brush by Morphe. It is an M321. And what I wanna do is go into the crease with this shade. And I just want to make sure that I can see both colors. So I'm just going above the crease just a little bit. Now, these lines are a bit harsh for me. So let's see if we can kind of meld the two 
shades together just a bit just using a clean fluffy brush to do that just so that the colors are a little blurred and the lines are not as harsh so looking something like that is the goal do the same thing on the other side and i think i'm pretty happy with this so let me grab i'm gonna grab my primer because we're gonna do a little half cut crease action so hold on so i'm just looking down <laughs> so that line right there is how high i'm gonna go i this is not what i want to use actually oh i'm sorry i don't think this is what i want to use i think i really want to use my concealer this isn't what i want to use either y'all i'm so sorry hold on because i want to use something brighter so i am gonna pull out my glam light primer this is classic vanilla i just i want something that's a bit bright because the shade that i'm gonna use i really want it to pop and i'm only gonna go halfway today now the brush i'm using for this is by bh cosmetics it is number 130 i don't know what that means but i usually use this brush to carve out my eyebrows i also have this brush by sigma which is actually called cut crease but it, it is good for cutting out the crease but i love how wide this brush is for just patting in the the primer i love it for that and this is also a really good brush for you know, packing on shimmers. I want to see what would happen if I take the shade Fossil. Now, Fossil, I'm thinking about the light champagne shade in Muerte. And I want to see if I can just get right in here. So I'm trying to get right, so right at the top of my like right above the hood, there's like just a little fold. That's when I say I have fat hoods. So I'm just trying to see if I can get that champagne color right here. All right, that might be a fail, but we will see. Here he comes. I won. You won? What are you playing? Hey, hey. Hockey. Hockey. Congratulations. We're off for Yom Kippur today, and it's just me and Marky. We're gonna table that right now. Let's get into the, the real fun here, which is gonna be the shade Breeze. And that's gonna go on the lid. Look at this. Just bear with me, it is going to come together. <laughs> All right, I was doing too much with that champagne shade, so I'm gonna go over top of it. This is too much of not what I needed it to be. It was not giving me what I needed it to give, so I'm gonna have to figure something else out about that. It's unfortunate, but you know. So I really wish I didn't do that champagne situation. That's just not what I needed it to be. Let's just go back into Twilight, which was that navy blue. Now this might mess up the effect that I was trying to achieve with the cut crease, unfortunately. I'm just going in with Twilight and kind of going over where I did that champagne shade. I don't think that looks bad. You can still see some of the champagne there, but it's, it's okay now. Like, I just don't like the effect that it had because it wasn't what I was, you know, that wasn't the desired effect. But, see, I'm glad because I like trying new things and then it's like, you can see how you can correct them, you know, if you mess up. So, all in all, this is good. And this is what we're working with. You, this wouldn't be an issue if, you know, Muerte was out because I would have been had it. You see what I'm saying? But see what I'm having to force myself to do. All right, now, outer corner, going back into Twilight. That 
fat is really pretty. And same thing on the other side. We're gonna go into the lower lash line now. I wanna go with raw on the lower lash line. So we did use that on the top and we're gonna do that again on the bottom. And I'm gonna take Twilight and my sister's calling me. Okay, y'all, it's coming together. Now we need an inner corner highlight. And I am going to use the shade Ocean. That's not the shade Ocean. Hold on. Yeah, okay, so I do feel like this is very reminiscent of the Muerte palette. Just diffusing this red up a little, just to clean up a little bit. So here is the look. Let me know what y'all think. It's definitely a newer look for me, but I like it. Now I'm gonna do some liner and I think I'm going to do lashes because this is that kind of look. Now for liner, I am going to use a liner that I have by Melt. It is the shade Steel. It is a gel liner and uh, this came with the Blueprint collection. So I'm going to use that on the top and maybe a similar shade on the bottom and I'm going to do some falsies. So I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so here is the final look. I really, really like it. So, zoom in. I have some lashes on, they're not super dramatic today, or I haven't been doing lashes at all, so I didn't wanna go with anything too dramatic to overshadow the look. So, final thoughts about the Wilderness palette. I personally think that this palette was $15 well spent. I use most of the shades. There are a couple that you know I still haven't used, but I don't have anything bad to say about this palette whatsoever. I think it's beautiful. I do think this palette dupes the Muerte vibes. I like the variety of looks that you can get from it, you know? And it's almost like with this palette that each row makes a story. So if you are a person that gets overwhelmed by larger palettes, you could just go row by row and create looks that way. The formula worked really nicely. I mean, $15, the shimmers were shimming and the mattes were matting, so I, have not one negative thing to say about the palette. I do look forward to playing with it more. There's like a lot of possibilities with this one. So if it comes back and you were considering it, I would definitely grab this one, especially if you like the Muerte palette, because this definitely is giving me that vibe. And you know, I'm still crossing my fingers that Melt is gonna bring it back. But until then, I've got this. So yeah, y'all, I would not hesitate to purchase another Beauty Bay palette. If I see one I like, I wouldn't hesitate at all. So that's that, y'all. Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me today for another edition of Mimosas and Makeup. I do hope this was therapy to you because it was for me. So until I see you again, make sure that you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I will see y'all really soon. Bye. Oh,